question? <laughs> <laughs> How's your team this year? I've had too much coffee. I can't even think straight. Um, our team. Um, I mean, I think we come in here, you know, I think that, uh, you know, this sport is all about timing and momentum. And I think, uh, I think along the, you know, as the season progressed, we had a couple hiccups along the way. Um, you know, on our, on our conference meet, I would say the wheels on our wagon uh, wobbled just a bit. But, uh, you know, I think we went the regional make and we're very purposeful in what we went out and attempted to do and ran great. So I think we come in here, we're healthy, fit, you know, excited to go run. And, and I think, uh, you know, right now, uh, excited about Monday. I mean, last year, as, you know, going for the first national title uh, for Washington women uh, versus now coming in as a defending champion, is there a difference in the way you've approached it this year? Um, I, yes, I think that, uh, you know, I, the expectation hasn't changed. I mean, the expectation, you know, going into last year was you know, the goal is just to get to Monday this year, November, November 23rd, to get to that date um, with the shot. And you, we can control nothing else anybody else does except for we do. And I think we just, you know, taking it one meet at a time, one week at a time, and uh, you know, just continue to build as, as the season progresses. You know, the, the key in our sport is not to do anything crazy this week. And, and I think, um, you know, yes, it's a little different, but, you know, the expectation and, and the, I think the, the, the pressures that our women put on themselves, that hasn't changed whatsoever. So, you know, I think, you know, a year ago, I think it was a little unnerving before the race. You know, you're getting ready to talk to your team and, you know, there's a TV camera in their face and, you know, there's a, some, you know, reporter in, your, in our tent. And so I think those are things we just were getting used to. And I think, uh, you know, I think because of those experiences, I think our group is, you know, a little more calm, cool, and collected right now. And, uh, you know, I think a little more battle-tested and, and ready. <laughs> they, they broke down our depth for us, and I, I was impressed. Um, I was impressed with Gina's depth. I was impressed with Oregon's depth. And it's, it's absolutely amazing to look at what young women in the sport are, are doing right now. But, you know, for our team specifically, and I think a year ago, you know, I really believe that, in the, you know, that uh, cross-country teams, great teams are made in the springtime. And I think you know, look at what our group did you know, a year ago, you know, coming in here, just look at five KPRs of our top five a year ago. It was somewhere 16, 15. Now we have four women that have run under 15, 52. And so I think they're, you know, just from a track standpoint, they're, they're better prepared. Um, but coming in this year, we needed, we needed to go create a body. And, you know, we needed somebody to go home during the summer, show up and, and work hard and, and uh, show up the ability to impact. And, and then Whammo, the regional championships, th there she was, Kaylee Campbell. She just appeared out of nowhere. Um, you know, but she had a great track. She's ran 206 and 418 a year ago. And, and you, you know, you go to the regional meet, that's the one young woman on our team that probably needed to go, you know, get a, get a, bro a bolt of confidence, and she, and she did that. And, and uh, so I think she provides us tremendous depth. You know, we're, you know, we think we're, you know, 30 seconds, one to five at the regional championships. And um, we've got a chance to rest a couple of girls. And, and so we'll run a couple of uh, youngsters that um, had some success here a few, you know, at the pre-national meet. But, you know, our, our uh, you know, our, our depth, our depth is good. And, you know, but it's, you know, there's lots of, you know, lots of great women seem to have that have lots of great depth as well right now. Girls, I mean, having your teammates around you and knowing that when you stand on the line, they're going to be giving 100% and that you're going to be giving 100%, it just really helps to manage the nerves. Um, knowing that it makes it a little bit more like practice having those girls that you've trained with all year next to you. Okay. And also, and, and how you carry that to tomorrow with your, with your teammates? Um. Well, bringing back so much of the same team, I think, does help us to carry momentum that we had with us last year, but it is a different year, and it's um, going to be a different race. Obviously, we have some really talented teams um, that we're going to be racing against tomorrow, and so I think that all of us are just focusing on going out there and racing as hard as we can and not trying to get all caught up in expectations or pressures and And so I think that does help. It helps with um, when you get on the line and there's so many bodies and there's so much going on and there is so much of this experience that can be overwhelming if it's your first couple of times here. And so I think that having that experience under our belt kind of helps us to deal with going into the race tomorrow. But um, also, it is a different experience than it was a year ago. And we don't want to dwell too much on what happened last year. We want to just keep our focus forward and on trying to have a really good race tomorrow.